Dear friends in Christ Jesus, I have been speaking to the Lord concerning this prophetic message for the past 48 hours off and on, and it is at this time, after much prayer and researching the scriptures, that I'm releasing it. I want to say that this prophetic message is not for babes in Christ. This message may not be for some of the more mature Christians in their walk either, as we know that not all revelations are for everyone. But nevertheless, Seho and I, we continue to do the work that the Lord Jesus has called us to do. This is our contribution to the end times work of the Lord. He's our King and our Messiah, and He's also our best friend. We love Him with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength, and we pray that everyone across the earth will have a sincere and meaningful relationship with Him. Let us trust in the Lord with all of our heart and lean not on our own understanding. In all of our ways, acknowledge Him, and He will direct our paths. It's my greatest honor uh, to read the words that I received from our Messiah just two days ago. To my dearest ones who call themselves the surrendered children of God. Children, there are many parts to this prophetic word that I, that I am speaking to my end time servant and daughter Gwendolyn. Children, the hour is late and I must inform you, out of my great love for you, some of the mysteries that are surrounding the end times events. First of all, dearest ones, I want to explain to you what happened during Lucifer's rebellion in my heavenlies as a basis for the first part of this message. My children, pride had taken a hold of Lucifer as he dwelled in my heavenly abode. He wanted to be the king of heaven, and he had staged a rebellion of all of the angels against the throne of the Creator. Because I am the Creator and I am the one who gave him breath, my Father and I evicted him from heaven and all of the angels that went along with planning this rebellion. I want to keep things simple in order to use this as the basis for this revelation, dearest ones. When Lucifer fell from the heaven like lightning, he did take one-third of the heavenly angels with him. He took them down to the earth and into the very depths of the earth. This is what is referred to as the arid places that a spirit occupies until it finds a host. Dearest ones, the fallen ones did come down to the earth, but some of the other angels of darkness did not agree with Lucifer's main agenda, and so they left and went on their way to occupy other places. These other places are far off galaxies in order that the spirits of darkness could satisfy their own greedy desires and fulfill the fruitless works of evil. What I want to explain to you now, dearest ones, is that as the creator of the universe, I am bringing back all of the spirits of the fallen ones through CERN portals. These spirits do not have a physical shape, nor do they have anything to do with Satan's end times agenda. These ancient spirits have been doing their own busy work in another dimension, which is millions of light years away. I have my Creator's eye upon everything that I have created, and there is not a day that goes by that I am not monitoring their activities. Children, Solid matter will not come through the CERN portals. It is not possible. Only spiritual matter can travel through CERN portals. Please remember this very important fact, as in the days ahead another deception will be placed upon you. The New World Order and the Vatican scientist will try to convince you that real aliens came through the CERN portals. This is a lie, my holy children. This is a lie, and it is part of the demon alien agenda. The majority of the demon aliens that Satan will use in his end times plan are already here upon your earth. They are warehoused in bunkers in underground cities and have been existing there since before the flood. They even survived the flood. 
the race of mankind did not survive the flood with the exception of Noah and his family. I am the one who spoke to my son Noah to bring the sacred scrolls and the holy writings of my son Enoch upon the ark to preserve them for the time that you are living in. Much of the details surrounding these events are elaborately written of in the book of Enoch. Although this ancient writing is not a part of my holy word, it is a Holy Spirit breathed document that originated from my throne room. Children, please understand that I am the only one who can usher evil from another galaxy and allow it to enter into the Earth's atmosphere, and that is exactly what I plan on doing. I am going to allow these ancient demonic spirits to come through your CERN portals and cause havoc, cause havoc with Satan's end times agenda. They will clash once they arrive, and Satan will have his hands full with two wars going on at the same time. It was a part of my divine plan to punish Lucifer with the same fallen ones that he enticed to join his army of darkness. These ancient spirits want nothing to do with Lucifer now, and that is the reason that they are so far removed from your galaxy. They have placed much space and distance in the way of light years between them, but I am God and I'm going to make them face each other in the days ahead. Not only will Satan have to deal with these ancient fallen ones, but he will also have to contend with my chosen 144,000 sealed servants who will be upon the earth doing my end times deliverance work. Praise the name of your Creator, my dearest ones. So you see, even though the spirits that are ushered through the CERN portals are very sinister, they are still included in my end times plan. You are historically familiar with how this has played out in the earth as one evil dictator rose to power and clashed with another. And time after time, century after century, evil factions have even faced off against each other. This is the same way with these ancient spirits. I want to encourage everyone to go on to part two of this message, where we can all hear Jesus' words concerning another great deception of Satan, using organ and crystals to repel demonic aliens. And if you're someone who is also a servant of God, and you're promoting ministries like these, you are really playing with fire yourself. And have you seen what's going on in the skies above Jerusalem lately? You can also find out about that in part two. In Jesus' words concerning President-elect Donald Trump. Okay, that's it for now. Keep looking up because our redemption draweth nigh.